time. But in the painful years since the Great Recession, after so many jobs lost and lives hurt, the grand total of bankers behind bars tonight is one, one. And even the judge who sent him away admitted he is, quote, a small piece of an overall evil climate within his bank and within many other banks. To try to figure out why, ProPublica's Jesse Isinger spent a year digging into the system and is here to tell us what he found. Great to have you. Hi, thanks for Congrats having me. on the big piece in the New York Times Magazine. It was Thank fascinating. You. So who is Kareem Sarah Geldin? Yeah, not, not exactly the Al Capone. No, not a household name. Uh, you know, they got the guy that caused the financial crisis. That's he, him. He's paying he's, for the sins. He was uh, a, an executive at Credit Suisse, the Swiss uh, bank and investment bank. He structured and oversaw traders who structured and traded complex mortgage securities. Uh -huh. uh, he was four rungs from the CEO, and he is the highest ranking Wall Street executive to go to prison for... Uh, crimes related to the financial crisis. And it wasn't exactly a Perry Mason case in the courtroom because he pled guilty, right? Right. They walked the Credit Suisse, walked the uh, case in to the Southern District of New York, the U.S. attorney in Manhattan, and uh, that's the way they got him. Uh, and he pled guilty and there was no trial. And he owns it, right? He talked to him and he yes, says, I, I'm You know, uh, unlike these guys who uh, really are angry about being called banksters, uh, you see a lot of self-righteousness from bankers. But in fact, he said to me, uh, I'm guilty. I want to pay my debt to society. I think he felt true contrition. And there's no question he's guilty. Now, if you go back to why it is that he's the only one, it's interesting. So the Justice Department had success going after mafia families, right, yeah. as organizations. And they thought, hey, why don't we go after entire corporations instead of individual white collar guys, right? Right. It's a scandal. Um, but it's a scandal that has a lot of roots in the mistakes and fiascos that the Department of Justice has incurred over the last 10 years and adverse rulings from the courts. Uh, what happens in the wake of what you talked about, the Enron, WorldCom, Adelphia, Tyco mm -hmm. successful prosecutions, then they go after Arthur Anderson, the famous um, accounting firm, accounting firm yeah. that enabled Enron. And Arthur Anderson goes out of business after they indict the firm. And the Department of Justice learns this terrible lesson, uh, overlearns it in my view, which is don't do this. Don't indict companies. Because thousands of people lost their jobs and yes. there was a backlash. There was a terrible backlash and there were terrible consequences to this. But on the other hand, Arthur Anderson was a recidivist firm. They had overseen not only the bad books of Arthur en or Enron, but also Waste Management, Sunbeam. They were recidivists and they destroyed documents. And so that when you do, when you confront this, prosecutors need to mete out justice. Right. Now, cash settlements then, so there's, there's blowback, it swings the other way, cash settlements become the punishment du jour, yes. which, which I never thought about until you wrote it, then prosecutors lose their edge. Yes, exactly. Because just getting a settlement is a career win, and you never have to go into court and learn how to get a guilty verdict. Yes, there's been an uh, insidious uh, byproduct of all these settlements and deferred prosecutions that's eroded their skill set, and it's particularly eroded the skill set in the way they go about investing individuals. So once they f figured that they really can't go after corporations, they tried to shift to go after individuals, but over a series of fiascos and mistakes, what they've realized and they've lost the ability to prosecute people at the top echelons of corporate America. So they can get fr small fry, but they can't get the CEOs and CFOs of the biggest corporations in America. They lawyer up